We got this buff bear. Look, for bear. What about it? Let someone eat it. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Number one. You see my eczema? I'm gonna put it in proper lighting. 
There's no proper lighting in this room. Okay. We're gonna change into my tudong. I have no idea this. Um, I was too up wearing maybe this one. Heat job, but I don't know. The eyebrow pencil that I got from yesterday. <laughs> My favorite. Yeah, I'm This Mac blusher. It doesn't pick up the product by hand, but by blush. On I mean by brush, it actually does, and it's very subtle. Yes, Daddy. Okay, my bun is gonna fall out, guys. Unsure of the hijab style I'm gonna do. And then I'm just going to. It's the most anticipated activity of Ryan right now. Not most anticipated. Yes, we've been talking about this since yesterday. That's mom and dad. And three oh, and two. And it's raining. I want to record mine. I want to I want to record us hugging. Guys, I want to record us hugging, but they're not going to let me get a montage. So, can oh I... no, I don't let them cry. Okay, 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 okay. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. Don't cry. I love you. I love you, baby. Oh man! Baby, don't cry! Wait! Sheldon! Huh? Okay. Sheldon, I Sheldon went out. Sheldon! Open it? Oh my dad. <laughs> Going, going by the fire. So wow, see that new. Oh my god. Can I get me the tutu part? Um, daddy dancing. Okay, so my sisters and I are craving for sukiya, so I'm gonna go to my town. We're gonna go to my town and get some sukiya, and also I want to join the event. Because I haven't been able to walk around. So that's why I'm gonna go. This is my outfit. I'll give you a full tour of it later. It's from Clue Official. They sent it to me. Thank you. It's closed. Oh, yeah, it's closed. I want to kill. I want my eyes to be right it's closed. Don't lie. It's, it's, careful. Careful. it's closed. It's closed. I told her to do research prior. And look what she did. Research. Did. And she's pushing me, guys. She's abusing I me. Sarah. We just finished praying. And now we're gonna go to Zara, I think. Oh, my lips is. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> it's day two, and we're gonna do this vlog correctly. My face is all over the place. Give them a rundown what we're doing. She's gone. Basically, we have this rose bulldog, and Tina wants to make. I forgot what she wants to make, but you need rose bulldog and you need popcorn chicken. Ready made popcorn chicken, we can get at the store, and then just air fry. Shabam! Okay, I got the pan. Yeah, I'm eating rendang, daging, and kukupat because that was the first thing that I was craving. I feel like, in a way, I am kind of picky with raya food. Raya food. I don't think raya food tastes really good in every house. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Depends on the chef. Yeah, so. Our chef. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is our like, last munch before we hop on to a road trip to. Johor guys, J -j Johor. Because I've got my nails done, I gotta eat with fork and spoon every time. It's really heating. 
Tada! Ah, uh, eh? <laughs> Tiga kali eh. Hi baby. Selamat pagi. I'm very honest. Yeah, breakfast baby. Makan rendang ke tu. Bye. I'll be very honest. I love it. Oh. What? Oh, Sarah got that from Tiga Mai. What does it taste like? <laughs> got food. Should I show them the food? I got a burger. She got More chips more. And katam tam for me. But it's scorching hot, so let's get in a freaking call. This is a burger. Also, guys, my makeup is living. It's giving. Oh, wow. So she wrapped it twice. What's that? Hmm. Small bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared, guys. Selamat. We're at the third house and I'm dead. I'm so sleepy. Like that. Whoa. This is so good. I swear. This is from Bulan Scarf. This scarf is also from Tika Ko. I used a ribbon. I made it into a scarf. So cute. It's giving me black water. Got this juice. Sorry, what did you get? Tika for a scarf. Can you feel crushed? I look dead, but I just woke up. We just arrived at Batu Bahat, and I have a headache. I don't know why. I woke up and I have a headache, and I don't like it. So, we're gonna eat some onigiri. This is the one that I bought the guy the mall the got mall just gonna eat it eat it Okay I'm gonna be trying the Oishi drink Actually I tried it already but we're gonna pretend I haven't tried it yet okay I feel very like meh because don't get me wrong they are really great but i just feel like it hasn't been nutritious i haven't had enough fiber so i've been feeling very meh so i hope that today i'll get enough nutritious food when we reach the Johor baru because i know we're in bad Bahai. and i'm just gonna try to choose nutritious meals every time we're at like someone's house i also had got the seaweed sushi but i ate that as soon as i woke up and I didn't film it. Oh, it's so good. 
Okay, Dina is sleeping in the back and my sister and I, Dina and I, we need to get inside the my dad's brother's house. Okay, so we're praying, me and Dina. I just read it very I'm so tired. And I have my MacBook with me because I want to edit. But I'm just playing my phone. Cute! Meow! Why is it in front? Shops are closed. Like, that's Pandora. Everything is closed. I'm so sad. <laughs> tell from my face but it's looking very dull and I'm also breaking up like here good morning I look ridiculous I look very my skin looks really tired and honestly the eyes speaks for itself but I am really really tired we've been traveling for the past three days and we've just been on the road I mean duh I'm not driving but somehow I kind of feel the lethargicness of just being in the car been up with a bit of skincare obviously the curtains like out I mean open I don't know I just feel like I've been lacking a lot of sunlight today's agenda is to just go back to KL but because we're in Johor Bahru we're gonna drop off Dina and that's actually the main reason why we're in Johor Bahru Dina is going back to her boarding school and I have to go to that boarding school which honestly, I don't want to. I don't wanna ever go to that, like step foot in that school. And I think like part of me is just cause I don't wanna revisit like memories from being in that. I'm not saying that being boarding school is like absolutely shit, you know, but uh, yeah, I mean, it has a lot of perks, that's for sure. And just being around like people who are intelligent and hardworking and value, education i guess you you gain a lot of benefit okay but i'm also not gonna dismiss the fact that i had some sour memories just being there particularly because i was the new girl um and yeah it was quite sour for me and you know with the schedule and uh, lifestyle change it was really difficult for me to adapt especially considering that i entered when i was in the peak of my teenage years and I had to say, oh, goodbye to all my peers back in KL at that time. So, I don't know. I feel like it's not that deep. Do you know what time it is? I haven't been asleep. I am like... I was just playing my phone, watching YouTube videos, and then I, I started creating my vision board. And then I went through my gallery. Uh, and I miss being back home. <laughs> I, I have a class tomorrow, by the way, that I plan on going to. I didn't go to class yesterday because I was just not feeling it. But I told myself I would go to class today, but I'm not sleeping yet, so let's hope I go to class. I just miss being back home, and I feel like it's not... Whenever I say I miss being, being back home, it's not to say that I'm not grateful of where I am. Obviously, I'm grateful, alhamdulillah, to be able to study abroad. But there's also like a clash in interest. I guess sometimes coming here to India was never like really my choice. So 
um, it was always like my parents' decision to want to send me abroad and to study medicine, to, to study in India. Not to say that there's anything negative about that. It's just that what I've learned is that as an adult now with realization, um, when I become a parent, I want to make sure that I raise my child in a way that they can learn to make decisions on their own growing up because I feel like right now as an adult, I find it difficult knowing or understanding what I want exactly. I always need like my parents' influence or opinion. And also I find that growing up when it was time for me to like decide where I wanted to study, I remember I just had to ask everybody about what I should study instead of actually figuring out what I actually wanted. And it's not to say that my parents are like super bad parents. No, this is not in any way trying to belittle them, but I feel like they raised me like within their parameter of knowledge and that's enough for them. But because I'm an adult now and I have that responsibility to learn and f improve whatever I can in every aspect of my life, this is what I want. Like, so what I can change now is obviously to, um, in the future, learn how to be a better parent in terms of making sure that my child knows how to decide for themselves. Now, even though I, well, medicine wasn't really an autonomous, autonomous choice going forward in my life, I'm going to make sure that once I have this degree done, whatever I choose to do in my life after is going to be what I want. It's going to be intentional. I'm going to do the work and I'm going to, going to make sure that it's up to me because this is my life and I'm not going to let anyone else decide. And it's, it's such a funny thing because, um, I never realized this trying to unlearn and relearn things is definitely something very difficult because being used to what you know is so comforting. Um, and other than that, despite the fact that I literally wake up every day and try to convince myself to just go to class even though I don't want to. Um, not that it's part of my, my academic grades, like CGPA, but like showing up for, showing up is important, I guess. Not to me, for the very least, but for the most part, for the people here, they believe that showing up is important. So I try my best to show up, but sometimes I don't. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, what's more important is that I finish what I start. So that's literally just a goal. I mean, to anyone who's struggling out there, if you're like also in almost in the same situation as I, that you ended up studying what you, your parents kind of decided for you and you like kind of realize it's later that like, oh crap, damn, I wish I had made my own decision. Um, that, I mean, if you want to quit, you have, like if it's not doing any good to you then like quit but like in my circumstance i just find it more tedious editing trisha here to continue the sentiment that in my circumstance after weighing out the pros and cons with my therapist and also having sat down and figured things out on my own that i realized that i've come to a conclusion and decided to finish what i said this journey of completing what i start despite knowing clearly that this path was not a self-governed decision is really difficult what helps is one forgiving myself forgiving my 17 self 17 year old trisha of the svm for not knowing that i had all the power and capacity in me to decide at that time i was definitely not at the right headspace and i definitely was always craving for parents approval mind you that parents are people that you definitely need to respect but growing up i've realized that respecting them is one thing but trying to chase for their approval is another thing and you can't mix between the two so when you're asking for their two cents you're not actually asking for their approval okay you're just discussing it with them but it doesn't mean that whatever they say is the decision and number two forgiving my parents for being the way that they are i think for many i mean not all of us duh but like i know my my friends i don't have a lot of friends but like 
within like my circle i know that a lot of their parents also are very controlling they just feel like they need to initiate that kind of decision for their child instead of having their child have a say in the decision it's not that they are the villain in the story no it's just that if you also look deeply into it that you need to forgive your parents because they were also raised by their parents and we don't know exactly how their parents were when they were younger that led them to become this like anxious needing to control everything all the time it took me so long to like really release it and forgive and be like at this state of like My makeup very simple. I didn't do my lashes today. I'm wearing Tiga Go today. It's really dark. Let's go. We are going to Cafe. Cafe Cafe. Cafe. It's most wanted by me, of course. Because I want these first. They have like this croissant bobolani thingy. I don't know what they're called. Okay, this has a lot. Oh my god. Oh my god. purchased yesterday got my favorite body spray from lush this lip scrub because jenny uses it finally the lumi water bottle lumi spray and a kombucha hi everyone today i'm going to take you with me on a little self-care vlog my face is red i don't know if you can tell yeah it's from the heat my, my whole house is like heated better yet outside heat induced rashes it's actually crazy i don't know if you can tell my allergic cream has steroid in it so it only made my skin drier is this not a good thing going to facial with your skin like this hijab don't know this one zalora zalora this is from happy istanbul this is from pomilo and my shoes they're going to be from machinos <laughs> girl just got back and i'm gonna be doing a haul it's this pink jersey shawl uh, it was like at one of the booths in upper point upper point has a lot of booth like random booths so i got this jersey shawl and it's so soft and it's just so soft like the one that i have the guy you need is from dark the big dark when you the bali so this one is like really really neat this and it was only lapan blush can get the, this one i bought also so there was this like kawaii shop and I don't know, it was just so cute. This was 10 ringgit for three of this. So cute. I can wear this when I do my makeup. Cute and soft. Uh, my skin before this, as you can see, there's like no more redness. It's like just glazed. Before, like, I went to facial, my skin was really red. And then after that, I got there and she said, oh, maybe I've been using vitamin C. So those kind of products actually can cause redness. It all does go a long way, you guys. I know this. I've done this in the past. And then I learned my lesson and then I forgot about it. So this is just like a reminder to myself once again to use less because less is more. And then I also purchased their 
mask. This was 55 ringgit. Literally, every time I come by, I'll schedule like a facial, and usually a facial maybe like three to four days before my flight back. I usually do facial before doing a lash lift or thin because during facial they like wipe everything and if they might be too aggressive. So I have this store, they approached me on DM and they said that they're gonna kindly sponsor the lash lift and tint as well as the brow lamination and I'm very excited so I'm gonna take you guys with me because that is also part of self-care. I just got back from Chuck's event and my lash and brow appointment. I'm so beyond grateful for today's opportunity, especially considering that I'm going back tomorrow. So I feel like I did everything that I need and my brows are crazy, but it's gonna go away. And I feel like I'm just gonna enjoy this printed brow while it lasts. Look at my bouquet, guys. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this vlog definitely a lengthy one and the most difficult vlog to edit by far other than my boarding school vlogs those were really hard to edit as well because it involves a lot of emotional processing especially when you're vlogging experiences that triggers a lot of different emotions and feelings and thoughts um, but yeah i hope that you enjoyed but also maybe resonated to some parts of the video and i will see you in my next one thank you so much for watching i love you and i appreciate you